Well, hello, beloved. Uh, this is Pastor Day. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in to just a, a brief uh, pastoral update. Uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you for uh, praying uh, for me and my family. It's been uh, very encouraging to get all the text and um, uh, love and support, um, knowing that you are praying for my family and I as we're kind of here in, in self-quarantine, um, being exposed to the virus. I also want you to, to thank you so much for the love that you've shown to Pastor Grant and his family as they have uh, dealt with this virus as well. It's so encouraging to know that the people of God uh, are, are, are trying to love and care for uh, their pastors. Uh, well, we, we thank you so much for all the prayers you've given our elders as we've been thinking through uh, how to uh, address um, this, uh, this virus and what does it mean for the life of our church. Uh, we have been praying and, and thinking through, okay, what are the next steps uh, for us in the life of our church? And here's just a few thoughts I'd love, love to share with you, kind of where we're at. Uh, first, I just want to say that, you know, God uh, has kind of given us responsibility to shepherd the flock of God uh, at Park Baptist Church. Um, one of the reasons that I love uh, the Holy Scriptures uh, and, and I love being a pastor really is because the Lord has ordained it. Um, the Lord has not just ordained me to be a pastor and the other elders to serve alongside with me, uh, but has allowed us to shepherd you. Uh, the Bible is very clear in Acts chapter 20, 28. It says, pay careful attention to yourself and to the flock uh, that the Holy Spirit made you an overseer of uh, that was purchased through the bloodshed of Christ. Um, so we, we know that we are, are designed to care for the people of God at Park Baptist Church. And we've been praying and trying to figure out, hey, what is the best way to care for the people of God at Park Baptist Church? Uh, we have heard there, there's other churches doing uh, other things, and we, we commend them uh, for, for the decisions that they're making as, as their elders. Um, we have not done maybe what other churches have done, uh, partly because we have a different flock, uh, and we're in a different situation, and we're trying to care for our, our sheep in a very specific way. So we've been praying and having lots of conversations with many folks in our in our, in our body. And just to let you know, some of the, 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 the there is vast differences within our body. Uh, I think that we are all in one mind, uh, that we want to be uh, together again, that we want to be uh, serving one another and loving one another. Uh, but how do we do that and when do we do that has been the main uh, maybe angst for, for some disagreement. Um, I think that the, the challenge of this season is that many of us have strong opinions and those, uh, those opinions are, are held very tightly. Um, so we just, we just pray that you'd be, be gracious and patient with one another. Um, some of you are on one side and some of you on, on the other, and it could easily create uh, animosity or uh, judgment towards each other, and we don't want that. We want to make sure that we bear with one another in love. This is the calling that God has, has given us. And we would ask the same for us as elders, that you would bear with us uh, in love as we think through and navigate what is the best way to care for, uh, for the flock that God has given us. One of the callings that God has given you as, as, as members of Park Baptist Church is not only to pray for your elders, but to follow and to submit. And if we're doing anything that is, uh, is ungodly or um, against the scriptures, to please tell us, to confront us in that so that we can you know, humbly look at our own hearts and our leadership and make sure that we address it. Um, but we know that these times are, are challenging. Uh, those of you who, who have any kind of leadership in any of this season, it's just challenging And what to do. What do you do with your own family and what do you do uh, with a larger groups of family at Park Baptist Church? So I just want to encourage you to just continue to, to, to look internally, right, at your own heart, analyzing, asking the Holy Spirit to reveal to you as David did, is, is there any sin in me? Psalm 19, it's a wonderful uh, verse. Is there anything in me that is dishonoring to you? Let my, the words of my mouth and the uh, the thoughts of my heart be pleasing in thy sight, my Lord, my rock, and my redeemer. So I pray that all of us at Park Baptist Church, that our the words of our mouth and the meditations of our heart would be pleasing uh, to the Lord and how we handle this this season. So just a couple of things that we're trying to think through in the life of the body. Uh, we, we know that we want to kind of get back to, to having a little bit more of normalcy in our normal gatherings, and we want to kind of phase that in. So right now the, the plan is, is on August 16th, not this Sunday, but August 16th, uh, we're going to um, plan on uh, having our, our gatherings, same, our outdoor gathering at 9 and our indoor gathering at 11. Uh, but in our indoor gathering, we're, we're going to only uh, ask people to wear the, their mask um, while they're singing uh, 
talking and commingling with, with each other, um, and as well as uh, while they're um, just kind of walking around in the, in the public space. When the when the sermon begins, uh, or when there's a long reading of scripture, mask can be removed. Uh, we know that some of you have a hard time wearing masks for long periods of time. We understand that. Uh, we want to make sure that we are being sensitive to those who who may have health uh, issues. Uh, so we want to make sure that we're caring for everyone the best way we know how. Uh, we thought a, a good step would be to while we're uh, gathering and not talking in close contact or not singing where the virus may be able to spread, uh, that we would uh, not have a mask. This would be a kind of a, a one step in the direction as we kind of move towards kind of getting back to just a normal gathering without mask. Um, so that's the plan right now. So on August 16th, we will kind of ask you to the beginning part of the service uh, to wear, wear, wear a mask. And then as the service, uh, kind of the sermon begins or a long reading of scripture, you, you have the freedom then to, to wear, to take off your mask as you sit with your family. Uh, we're still going to practice um, uh, some physical distancing with, with our seating, kind of having people sit in every other pew uh, for August 16th. Uh, Lord willing, on August 23rd, uh, we would like to, to begin offering child care again for our morning service, both the nursery as well as our two- and three-year-old class. We know that some of our, several of our families have not been able to come uh, because of just the, the challenge of trying to handle children as well as listen to a sermon can be very difficult. Uh, uh, so here's what we're going to ask you to do. Uh, we, 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 Jenny Schellenberger has been reaching out and trying to talk to different folks uh, about serving. And um, here's what we're hearing. We're hearing a lot of people saying, hey, we really want to get back to normal. Uh, and yet we don't have the volunteers. Um, so until we have the volunteers, we cannot offer child care. I think the last... Uh, numbers that we got were maybe four who were willing to serve both in the nursery and two and three. And uh, if we only have four, that means they're in there every single week. And we, we can't have that. Um, we can't offer child care if we're only having four volunteers. Now, we know this, there's going to be lots of reasons why people can't serve, uh, whether life's changes have happened. You feel convicted by the Holy Spirit that you need to be in a Sunday school class. We understand that. Uh, you, you're not ready to, to be in those kind of close settings because of, of the virus. All those things are, are valid. Uh, but here's what we need. Uh, we need volunteers if we're going to get back to normal. Uh, what I'm hearing from the body just generally is, Pastor, when are we going to get back to normal? When are we going to have be all together again? And I want that. Desperately do I want that. Uh, but we also want to do that with patience and with wisdom. Uh, and uh, for me, the way I've always led is that if, as a pastor, we, we, we are just leading a, a group of godly saints. Um, and if the saints are not ready to, to step up and serve, well, then we don't offer those things. Uh, so I'm just going to plead with you now is that uh, if you are able and willing uh, to serve, we need you. Uh, we want to provide child care for our, our children. Uh, moms, if you have children in the nursery, we would love to have you kind of take, take, take a shift uh, to everyone kind of can labor together um, if you are able in any way, right? We also need teachers for both our, our children's classes for our Sunday school uh, and as well as Wednesday night. Wednesday night classes are, are still pretty, uh, pretty light right now with the number of kids that we have in terms of those who are coming to our prayer service, but we need definitely need more, more children's workers. So I'm just going to plead with you, uh, those of you who are saying, Pastor, we want to get back to normal. Uh, well, we can't get back to normal until the body steps up right? Uh, this is not only uh, our elders and our deacons, but the whole entire body of Christ at Park. And so I'm just asking you to, as I did before, in terms of analyzing your own heart and how you are treating one another, um, that the words of your mouth and meditations of your heart would be pleasing in, 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 in the, the sight of the Lord. I'd ask you the same thing in this. Is the Lord leading you or convicting you uh, to serve um, uh, in the body? Uh, we would love to have, have you step up and serve there. We know that this is kind of a, a step, right, in the direction of normalcy. Uh, we hope, Lord willing, to get back to a little bit more of, of our Sunday school gatherings and, uh, you know, service indoors, Lord willing, in September. Uh, I don't want to give a definitive date then. I have a date in my mind, but I, I don't want to give a definitive date until I see uh, how things go over the next several weeks and who steps up and, and what we can offer. So, but just know this, as, as, as pastors, we are praying, we are praying, we are praying uh, for you. Uh, not only that we would get back together, but that the Lord Jesus Christ would be first in your heart. Uh, that you would be learning from uh, the Holy Spirit and what he wants you to learn from this season. Uh, and I pray that if there's anything that you have seen in your life and in your character that is unbecoming of the Lord, that you would confess, repent of that, and run back to the Lord. 
uh, and you will find a, a Lord and Savior who is ready and eager to forgive and to restore you in right relationship with him. Uh, so we, we pray that God will, will, will do a work in our body. I see there's so many positive things that I'm seeing, and I pray that you would see those same things and not only see, see the negative. Uh, I've heard from many of you the struggle that you're having uh, with those who maybe hold their, a different opinion than you and, and, and maybe in a manner in which that you don't think is, is always right. So all that to say, uh, beloved, is that we're praying for you and we love you uh, and we want to get back together. Uh, we just want to do so in, in, in the wisdom of the Lord. So as God has given us the charge to shepherd the flock of God at Park Baptist Church, uh, feel free to share your opinions and your ideas with us. Uh, we just pray that God will make it clear. Uh, we don't want to do anything outside of his will. Uh, we have, want to have our eyes fixed upon him. Uh, so just know this, when you share things with us, we consider them. Uh, we have wrestled and debated as elders, uh, prayed through this, and just we're asking for clarity. Uh, but the Lord, who is kind, uh, gives generously, uh, wisdom to generously with all who ask, ask for it. So uh, as we try to lift high the Lord Jesus Christ, as we try to, to, to draw close to him uh, during this trial, knowing that these trials are been given to us by God to purify us, to sanctify us, not only individually, but as a corporate body, that we could be a better reflection of him. So we ask that the Lord would continue to purify us uh, as a church as we look towards uh, gathering in the future. So just a quick recap, August 16th, we're going to start taking off um, the mask uh, in the service, um, at least during the preaching. When we're still close quarters, we'll ask you to wear those. Um, and we'll also, go on, the, on, the, on the 23rd, Lord willing, start child care if we have volunteers. So please uh, step up and serve. And then, uh, Lord willing, in September, we'll kind of re, re, re start to begin our more of our normal schedule with uh, child uh, Sunday school classes as well as adult Sunday school classes. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact myself or any one of the other elders. Uh, but just know that we're praying for you. And we are excited uh, to, to be back together uh, to praise the Lord and to um, lift his, his name in, in praise. So uh, pray for us as we pray for you. God bless.